Hey everybody, so today we have here another MacBook, another A1466, and another liquid spill. So, let's just get into it, let's see really what the damage is, and uh, what we can do to fix it. So this one's supposed to be in here for a liquid spill, uh, obviously since it is a liquid spill, let's unplug that battery real quick, and let's not mess around with it anymore. And what we want to do is we want to do just a quick little scan on the board here on the top here that we can at least see if there's any obvious damage on here. And I can kind of see a little bit here. It's a little bit harder to, to show on the camera. A little bit of corrosion that goes right here. You can see a little white. Uh, that is a little bit of corrosion that goes on the SSD. So let's at least uh, take out the SSD too. And maybe hopefully there's nothing really damaged to that. And we need, can, we need to test the SSD to make sure there's no problem. But mostly just a connection. That uh, looks to be pretty healthy here. For the most part. You can always test that for the customer. We like to give them options too to make sure that there is no other damage to the SSD we always like to see if there's a problem with the board we want to fix the board if they don't want to fix the board then we can at least give them options to recover data and we can obviously see that this has been uh, at least replaced before because there is a sticker here Apple doesn't usually have a sticker so we do know that there is a replacement part here I actually did notice something here I just noticed it right now is this warranty void when removed so this does look like it has been a board that has been replaced before so that's interesting. So maybe the liquid damage is from a previous um, instance of it. And this is a refurbished board. So sometimes uh, we don't know if, if there's any extra damage. Obviously, we can see the clear there's clear corrosion, but we don't know if this board hasn't worked on and cleaned. Uh, we don't know if it's been a user replacement. We don't know um, if there was an error before or after, or if this was just one bought on eBay and they come in here and say, hey, can you fix this for me? Usually if you get one of those that are completely dead, you want to stay away from them because most likely they've been to shops or anything or they've had prior work done to it before. But so we do know this refurbished board because of it and it does show the warranty here. So let's go ahead and you see some of the corrosion there, but that might not be a big deal. We would have to really see. Let's go ahead and take a look at it under the microscope and see really what that area might be. I do see something pretty close to the SMC over here and ha. So this is the SMC. This is the main thing that's going to give you an orange light when you plug it in, give you a green light when you plug it in, give uh, lots of power delivery, and this it's a very important, it's a system management control. So it's as it's, it's important as it sounds. And it's very easy to, to see it usually because it does have usually this little glue or rubber that does go around here and it holds it a little bit better in place, but you can see how close this is to the M SMC. Um, we do see that, let's just keep going because we, we can at least note that in the back of our head and see if there's any other corrosion around this area. And of course there is, and here we go, here's another chip. And what we can do is let's go ahead and look up to see really what this little baby does over here. So we're going to go bring up our schematic and we're just going to go take a look to see um, on this, this model what exactly is around this area and what has been impacted. So let's just go over first um, these two. We'll go over the one cap here and then we'll also go back to the SSD. Just talk about them real quick. Uh, you can see that this is obviously a capacitor where the, where the liquid damage was there. Um, it's not... This one and even the, the SSD pins aren't going to be as important to really go over and to really focus on as much because they're not going to be as impactful as the other component um, because the other component is most likely more of a power IC chip and that's going to be what's really going to be making this um, computer turn on and turn off. Let's go back to the main meat of here and this is why what you're probably going to want to see what most likely we're going to have to replace because there's a bit of damage and it usually does get under the, the chip itself. And that is this one where you just see some of the corrosion. You can see that this is the U7501 and this one is on the 5 uh, volt power rail here. And it's a, it is an IC chip actually. That uh, any type of liquid that's impacted with there, it's definitely going to make sure that this laptop is not going to turn on. No fans going to spin. Nothing. So if we bring up the schematic here, you can see this is the U7501 and you can see how many different components and a lot of different things are connected to this. I believe we can uh, go back to it and what we can do is we can mainly just do a replacement on it um, most likely because what's going to happen is we do see maybe some of those pins there are going to be a little bit too damaged and we will most likely have to uh, have to at least clean it and then most likely remove it and uh, we got to hope that the traces are still going to be intact there so let's go ahead and see if that is the case all right so we're just going to clean off uh, the capacitor up here and we are also going to touch it up with our hot iron to make sure that it makes a nice contact with the trace and the the pad underneath it. Sometimes liquid, what it can do is it can break up that little connection. So we're going to touch it up. And we're going to do a similar thing here. 
uh, over with the SSD connection. Just going to clean it off there to make sure that there's no extra corrosion that's going to be impacted the, the pin there. All right, so let's go to our U7501 IC chip. It's always good to clean it first to make sure that you can at least expose uh, the pins there and to see what the, where the damage is. So we're going to make sure this is all cleaned up before we do any type of removal. We're going to see if we can touch it up with an ir a hot iron there. But again, this one is a little bit too much damage, so definitely need to replace it. So let's remove it. All right. So you can see this has been removed. And you can see the cause of the issue there. If you look at the top, those pins, you can see two of those pins that are making contact with the trace, especially one is making contact with that capacitor up there. It has been blocked and it's been completely damaged. So what we want to do is we want to make sure at least uh, not only that this gets replaced, but we want to make sure that the pins on the board when we replace it is going to make a nice contact. So we want to make sure that we clean this off as best we can. In a worst case situation, what we would have to do is maybe make a wire that connects to this, but it looks like we can just clean off a bit there and you can see now it is exposed again, just like the other ones, and it will make a nice contact. So now we're going to go ahead and get our brand new IC chip. We do have it in stock. Check it out in our store. And we're going to go put this one in. All right, so we're going to go put it in, and everything is going to look pretty good, and we're going to go ahead and test it out. So we replaced the U7501 IC chip, and we're going to go ahead and see if it is working. We always want to see that beloved fan spin. So let's go ahead and test it out. Let's go plug it in and really see what we got here. See the green light, oh, fan spin, all right, orange light. It's a good thing. It's doing a little power cycle. All right, and everything looks to be pretty good. Process is getting warm. We can also just go ahead and plug it in real quick to make sure it happened, but it looks like that this did a repair for it. But it's always nice to see an image too, right? Most people like fan spins and orange lights. I also like the folder icon. I always like to not want to show any custom data or anything like that, so it's good to just do that so nothing pops up there too. Looks like this came on, right? Yep, there's your folder icon. So looks pretty good, which is a very important IC chip that actually does go on the board there. So uh, anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and found this video very informative and enjoyed the ride as we, we did it. And uh, please leave a like if you did. Please subscribe for more content. We do lots of MacBook repairs, do liquid spills. We also do lots of day recoveries as well. If you're interested, go ahead and check us out. We have lots of videos on those. We have lots of videos also doing um, ultrasonic cleaning and uh, other MacBook spill repairs, not just this mod. We also have the, the 1932 MacBook Air, and we also have the M1 MacBook Air. We did some repairs on them as well. So hope you guys enjoy watching. See you in the next one.